In this video, we're going to be covering vertical hand rolls, both upward and downward, and then I'll give you a drill to play with both. Yeah. Right, so for this one, it doesn't matter if you're using a shorter pair or a longer pair, it's going to be the same. So I'm holding it in the positive, I'm holding it high. If you need to know what that terminology means, please click on the link in the description below so that way you can learn the terminology. My free hand again is out of the way. My hand is straight, I'm making a fist, and my knuckles are horizontal. The reason this is called a vertical hand roll is because the nunchuck itself is going up and down, not my hand. From here, I let go and I hold on with just my thumb. If you notice, my thumb is pinching it tight to my hand. I toss it over the back side of my hand, and now my fingers are free to move however they want. I take my thumb, I point it straight down towards the floor, and I grab the opposite stick, finishing the hand roll. So, in full time, it looks like this. Now, if you're doing this with a longer pair, nothing has really changed. Everything is exactly the same, holding on with the directions I gave you before. Toss it over the hand, turn your thumb down, and grab. At full speed, it'll look very similar. Nothing has really changed. Now, we're going to go ahead and take that, and we're going to modify it a little bit just for fun. Our hand is here before with our knuckles horizontal. What I want you to do now is I want you to make your knuckles vertical. So now our knuckles are up and down. We can let go of the opposite stick so it's kind of hanging freely. And we're gonna take our hand and we're gonna kick it out to the side. So if you look at it from straight forward, if my fingers are pointing forward, I kick my hand out. So that way the chuck has clearance so it doesn't hit me in the arm when I do the next hand roll. We're here. I let go like I did before, just holding on with my thumb, and as it goes into the air, I let go completely and I allow it to fall on the back side of my hand. From here, now I'm in the negative. Now that the nunchuck is upside down, I take my thumb and I move it to the opposite side of the stick, like I'm trying to touch my top knuckle on my pointer finger. The momentum of that previous movement that I did before will allow it to rock, but if I'm already just here, all I need to do is kick my wrist so I get a little swing in the nunchuck and allow it to go over the front of my knuckles, and now I'm back to the positive grip. So one more time, we're here, hold on to it with just your thumb, kick it over the back side of your hand, now you're in the negative grip, move that thumb over out of the way, and now flip it up across the front of your knuckles. You can take this and make a drill out of it. Once you've got this down, each one of those three techniques that I've showed you, I suggest you start with this one because it's the easiest and it'll get you used to it. Then you move to this one, then you take it and you just move to the negative one. You practice that over and over again. You put it back in your hand, do the negative one. Put it back in your hand, do the negative one. Once you have all those down 10 out of 10 times, now you can do a drill with it. It's gonna be a little different with the longer ones, but not much. I'm gonna take, my, take the, the nunchuck, the pro chuck, hold on to the wand, the stick that I have in a positive grip, and I'm gonna let it go back of my hand, front of my hand, back of my hand, front of my hand. You can do the same thing with a longer chain or rope. The only problem is sometimes you might hit yourself, so you might have to move your arm just a little bit more. So you'll go back of the hand, front of the hand, back of the hand, front of the hand. Nothing has really changed, but with this, I really don't have to move my arm that much because I don't have to worry about it hitting me. And of course, safety first. Make sure you, before you do any of this stuff, make sure you have plenty of clearance and room like that. Safety is always first. Always make sure you're having a good time with this. Again, this isn't self-defense. This is just for fun and hand-eye coordination. Once you've done this on the right hand, that's right. You got to get used to doing it on the left hand. All right. So enjoy. Have fun.